Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, www.lockdownsecurity.ca. And I'm excited to bring you another new Nakamichi CarPlay and Android Auto head unit. This time it is the Nakamichi NAM3510-M7. Uh, we're calling it the uh, 3510-M7 for short. And it's pretty cool. It's an entry level, double DIN, 6.8 inch, 6.7 inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay Android Auto head unit. Now, non-wireless, so that means that you have to have Apple CarPlay or you have to have the Apple phone or the Android phone plugged in. Uh, it's got capacitive touchscreen display, really quick operating system. As you can see, it's powered up here on top of the box. This is what the box looks like. Uh, let's just zoom in. I'm gonna go through some of the features. So obviously, as I mentioned, CarPlay Android Auto, really cool one, time alignment. That's a really good feature for such an entry-level radio. It's got rear camera input, uh, I believe it's got front camera input with uh, resolution uh, capability of 1080p. It's got DSP, which is pretty crazy, digital signal processing, multicolor buttons, four volt RCA pre-out, which is awesome. Capacitive touchscreen, subwoofer pre-out, uh, 16 band EQ, and then your dual USB uh, inputs. And then last but not least, it's got Bluetooth, which all these radios have. So let me just go through uh, and tell you what my thoughts are on this radio. So my first thought is this radio is awesome. Uh, this is gonna retail somewhere in the like $300 range, uh, which for the money and for the features that you're getting, the fact that it has DSP as well as CarPlay and Android Auto is crazy, crazy inexpensive. Now don't quote me on the $300 price point. Uh, prices are subject to change. It may go higher, it may go lower, but that kind of gives you an idea of where this radio fits in. Um, compared to the previous radios that I've reviewed, uh, the, uh, the 3605 M6 and the 3605, the one thing I don't like about this, the 3510, is that the buttons are hard buttons on the side. And if I kind of show you here, the screen is a little bit inset. So we've had some complaints from customers that they don't like that, but you know what? I mean, for the price of this radio, you really can't complain. Now, a couple of things that are pretty cool. Uh, number one, built-in front panel mic. So from an installer's perspective, much easier to install this. But if you want to have better microphone pickup, it has the capability of an external mic. Uh, I'll show you when I flip this around the external mic connection. Uh, it's got a micro SD card input. So if you have media on a micro SD card, you can put it in right there. You can play off of it. Volume up, which I'll hit here. Volume up, volume down, as you can see, quite responsive. Power button, uh, which doubles as a mute button. Uh, this is your home button source. Like you can go back and forth to different things. And then this is gonna be your voice control. So it's invalid right now because I don't have an Apple phone or an Android phone connected to it. So I'm just gonna go through a couple of things. Let's go to the settings menu. So this is obviously date and time, sound. Let's go to DSP, which you can see. I mean, I can basically uh, do my surround settings. Like look at that time alignment, like that's crazy. Absolutely crazy in a radio of this value to have that feature. If I go back, I go to general. Brightness, your video control, let's see what that's all about. Ah, yes, your screen uh, brightness, contrast, all of that. Pack and SWC. So this is another cool thing with these radios. Built-in steering wheel control interface, but it also has the capability of working with uh, external steering wheel interfaces. Whether you buy it from Pack, which is Pacific Accessory Corporation, or whether you use an AXSWC from Access, you've got that capability. Now, if I turn that on, you've basically got that button. SWC, if I hit that, here is your mapping of buttons. So K1 and K2 stands for key one and key two. So if your uh, steering wheel controls are analog and not CAN bus, you could literally save money on buying a steering wheel control interface because this radio has got it built in. Again, for the money of this radio, there are no name brand radios like Pioneer, Kenwood, JVC, Sony, Alpine, none of them. Actually, sorry, Sony has it, but none of the other ones have built-in steering wheel control interface. And even the Sony, models don't have this sort of customizability for mapping buttons. You can map their buttons, but not like this. This is actually new. This is a new feature. I didn't even see this on the 3605s. So I, I will say um, hats off to Nakamichi. This is pretty cool. Uh, obviously you can change the wallpaper. I'm pretty sure if you load a file with the micro SD, you can probably put custom wallpaper. Uh, if you go back home here, uh, I'll go to radio so you can see that. Actually, let's go home. Uh, I notice here. So this gives you an idea of how responsive this radio is. Like there really is no lag uh, and it's amazing 
how well this works. Let's go DSP, it goes back to that menu. Uh, let's go USB, no media, good. As you can tell, this is the first time I've powered up this radio, so I'm learning as I go, as I make this video. I just wanted to get this video out there to let everybody know that this radio is in stock. Obviously, with the shortages, everybody's been talking about chip shortages and car audio and head unit shortages. We've got really good stock on this radio, and I have another Nakamichi radio that's brand new. I'm going to make another video about really great stock on that, which is more than I can say about the name brand manufacturers as well. For whatever reason, Nakamichi has been able to keep stock flowing, which is great because that means we can keep stock uh, selling, which is what you guys watching this video and our customers want us to do. So let's uh, turn this radio around. Uh, as you can see, there's the mounting depth. It is a digital media radio, so it doesn't need to be full depth. Obviously, there's no CD mechanism, so uh, that's why it is like that. Uh, like that meaning shallow. So what do we have here? So we've got our radio antenna input, our rear USB. You've got your pack input, your mic input. This is what I was talking about. You can put an external mic. We do sell the external mic accessory. You got video in for your camera, video out if you had headrest screens or auxiliary video. You've got your auxiliary left and right audio inputs. You got video out too, and then you got your rear camera. So in effect, you could have, uh, you could consider this two camera inputs if you want to consider the video in a camera input. It really is a video input. So if you wanted to watch, you know, if you want to stream a phone or you want to uh, have another video source and display it on the screen, you can do that. Here's your power connection. Here is what the harness looks like. Now we, it doesn't come with this side of the harness. It just comes with this ISO uh, female connector, but this gives you an idea of what the harness looks like. And then I have to show you the following, which I don't have plugged in. Here's the RCA harness. It's got triple pre out. So front, rear uh, and sub. Wireless remote it comes with. I mean, I don't know why you would need it, but just in case you want to control it from the back seat, it comes with that. Radio release keys for the cage, which it comes with. And it also has a trim ring uh, in the box as well. So that pretty much sums up the new Nakamichi NA M3510-M7. I hope you enjoyed this video. We think this is gonna be a hot seller. Again, the prices, you, you can't beat the price on this radio. DSP, steering wheel control, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, four volt Prio, Bluetooth, micro SD card, dual USB inputs. I mean, what more do you want in a radio that's less than even 600 bucks? And this thing is gonna be less than 400 bucks guaranteed, but probably around the $300 region. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, it goes a long way to help us make more videos like this in the future. And uh, I'll put a link to the product below in the comments or in the description for where you can purchase this radio from Lockdown Security. Thanks for watching, have a great day.